think I could have a match against Abby Windsor on the next show. Freaking why, dude? I, I Sure, why not? <laughs> Nobody wants to see that. That's not necessarily true. Share my vision, Ace Diamond could be the start of something big. One week later. Bob Backlund has turned up drunk and is in no condition to perform. You freaking... You ass! Now that I have to deal with this weirdness. So, after his after his shenanigans-filled victory, as the news will show, Bob Backlit got drunk as hell, and then... <laughs> right, Bob Backlit got drunk. That part's important. He's in no condition to perform. So that sucks. I have to now deal with the consequences of that strange empty arena match as well as of course book other things going on oh right Bob that's oh god that's actually happening that's actually fucking happening is there a way I can vacate titles uh scripts championships untitled unfair championships there is not. Oh wait, announcements. Ah, no, there is not. Nope, there's not. I thought there was a way to vacate the title, but that's probably what I will be having to do. In fact, I wonder if I can just real quick. Ah, there is not. I think I think the only way I can vacate it is if I have full editor control, which I don't. So whatever, he is he is currently the champion until he is not. Back to the booking career, as it were. All right, so I don't know what I'm going to do about that that nonsense, but let's not worry about that right now. Let's let's do other things. Um, hmm. Uh, man, what am I going to do? Well, West Virginia, West Virginia back that day. Okay, West Virginia. Oh, Dick Sledge is back. Tony Bravo. Dick Sledge and Harley Race. Yeah, I got some stuff. I got some stuff I can work with here. And your ref will be Fury. Um, no script to this. Fatal 4-Way First Fall wins. I'll put it a time limit of 15 minutes. And I think we're good to go. Gotta keep looking at this. West Virginia, back in action, take me home. So here we are, coming live to you from somewhere in Vancouver. I don't know any arena names. Hey, Sex and Mama, I want to watch me wrestle these three other guys. Oh, yeah, there's also that biz. Just recently re signed with an advance contract, paid entirely in advance. Something he's not telling us? Who knows? And off we go. Donnie Bravo immediately going behind. Oop. And immediately breaks down. West Virginia dropping elbows on both Dick Sledge and Donnie Bravo. Harley Race, confident about the fact that he still has his original name. Why is there an N64 in the ring again? Just why? I wonder if it's there because... I wonder if he added it because it's the 20th anniversary of uh, No Mercy. 
20th, 21st, shoot. I know it's an I know it's an anniversary of WWF No Mercy for the N64, but all right. Currently, Dick Sledge is in a hammerlock. No, it just got out of it. Everybody already looking worse for the wear in the face area. Harley Race backdropped out of the ring. God, how he didn't land on his head is a miracle. Snapmare. Countered by Dick Sledge. Nope. Rope break. And firing back with punches. Good throw. Big slam. Calf crusher counter. And even slamming Donnie Bravo's head against the lower rope. Hell's Gate on West Virginia. Nope. Hell's Gate on Donnie Bravo. Nope. 1031. Got him up. Shoulder breaker. Few big punches and slam down and slam down again. There you are. Donnie Bravo going for the pin there, but it's broken up by West Virginia, who's now got him up. Running power slam. Looks like he. Looks like Donnie Bravo landed on his shoulder. Probably weird. Lexus on him. Tried to go for the backdrop. Oh, you got it finally. Into a cover. One. Oh, only a one count. Ooh, not sure what happened there. That didn't look good. Big suplex. Countered. Sort of. Someone had a cover on Dick Sledge, I think. Wait, Ivy Windsor? Oh, she must be on the commentary booth. I forgot to turn off health bars again. Damn it. Next episode. He punches firing back and forth. West Virginia goes off the ropes, gets caught in a press slam. But Johnny Bra Donnie Bravo not able to hold on to it very long. Oops, I'm going to get sued. And figure four leg lock. Elbow and knees dropped on West Virginia to break that up. Got red suplex by Dick Sledge. Still looking a little woozy. Punching back and forth. Ooh, what a hit. Now just violently stomping on him. Double teamed again. There's the cover by Donnie Bravo trying to take advantage of it. Hello, Gamer War 284724, and thank you for the follow. Just joining us, this is the opening contest of the show titled Non Regrets. Or No Regrets. Big Nate. Ooh. Dick Sledge just getting absolutely hammered. Ha. Donnie Bravo thrown to the ropes. Dick Sledge still on Dream Street. Immediately thrust back into the, into fighting after recovering from his rib injury. And test of strength, no. And test of strength, no. And oh! Red Fury been sent 
falling out of the ring. Big suplex. Countered. Oh, double pin attempt. No, one. One, and broken up. West Virginia with another lariat. Three D to Dick Sledge. Oof. Nope. Pin attempt again broken up. Harley Race has that hammer lock on. Nope. Donnie Bravo's the only one still standing. Might be able to isolate Harley Race. Nope. Gets easily distracted by West Virginia's shitty little kick daddy. Double flapjack to West Virginia. And right on that ponderous gut. Ooh. That did not sound good. Big body slam. Everyone looking really worse for the wear here. Nice arm drag. And nice arm drag counter from West Virginia and Dino Bravo. Johnny Bravo, Donnie Bravo. Shit, I'm getting sued. Respectively. Now, the boots being put medium style to West Virginia. Got a hold in there. Smashing his head against the canvas, but he's not tapping. You know, the punch, Boston Crab by Harley Race. Back elbow from West Virginia. Ground and pound, and a spinning toe hold. Nobody taps yet. All it, all it matters is for one person to get lucky enough for either a three count or a pinfall victory. Press slam into power slam. Roll up. One. Two. No, broken up. Dick Sledge almost had the victory there. Dodges that lariat somehow. He was not in his right mind at the moment. Goes behind. Full Nelson. Countered by a bulldog. And Dick Sledge sent tumbling out of the ring. Probably should have turned count outs, count outs off. Oof, not sure what, uh... Is Harley Race trying to go for an electric chair drop? And now the announce table is in the ring. I don't know. Behind, going forward. Nope. And a cover by Harley Race. Broken up. Because Red Fury is too busy trying to feng shui the ring. And now he's trying to balance on the edge of the desk. Yeah, I figured that was going to happen. He's now outside the ring. So, you know, no rules for a bit. I think Donnie Bravo just got punched in the in the groin. And the announce table falls apart very, very easily. Big spinning elbow. By West Virginia. Nope. Not sure what was going for there. Rear naked choke with... Nope. Oh, rope break. Got just about five minutes left in this match and... Still no clear victory, but again, all it takes is a moment. And the announce table got reassembled at some point. There you are. Single leg crap? Nope. At least the crowds are still liking this to some degree. Uh, Donnie Bravo was going for the top, but decided against it. Possibly because he's dizzy as hell right now. West Virginia again just getting his ass kicked while Harley Race looks on. Wow, what the hell happened there? And another double team smashing Donnie Bravo on the 
remains of that table. And we're just trying to go for the pin. Bad idea. But with everyone down... Nope, countered. Got him up. It's got the sleeper hold locked in. Donnie Bravo just managing to crawl over and break that up. Trying to flex on Dick Sledge. Throw. Everyone's down again. Cover by West Virginia 2. No, broken up. Another cover. Yeah, I guess that's one way of breaking up the count. Red Fury getting punched in the back of the head. Donnie Bravo's arm looking like it got caught in a press of some kind. Big Sledge now out on the apron, but given every opportunity to get back in, and does. Got him up! Shoulder breaker. And Boston Crab locked in by Donnie Bravo. Will West Virginia tap? No! Countered into backslide! One! Two! No! Donnie Bravo able to kick out. Throw him to the ropes. Everyone dizzy. Nope, counter. Countered. A lot of counters going on here. Big snapmare. Big arm drag. And there he has it. With the arm bar off of the arm drag, West Virginia ekes out a victory in our opening contest. Donnie Bravo's profile has risen after taking part in such a compelling match. West Virginia's profile has risen. Dick Sledge's status not affected. Harley Race's status. Not affected. All right. All right, so we got that. Uh, next. Let me see if I can go back real quick to options. Display. All right, I think. Wait. There, clock only. All right, back to it. So next up, we're going to have TV title match. Flex Beanbag defending his belt against Bruno San Martino. Ten minutes to defend titles, all that. No script. Just get to it. Bruno Sammartino with his tag partner, Glamrock Shooter, coming down to the ring. He's got a light tube. Already off to a great start. And here's Flex Beanbag, the television champion who has not actually defended his belt yet. Lost his first defense by countout. And then defeated Lance Storm in a non-title match. Now here he is. Da-da-da-da-da-da. Facing a man who just dropped a light tube and broke it in the middle of the ring. Meanwhile, Red Fury try desperately trying to get Glamrock Shooter to get the hell out of the ring to the point of chasing her out. That yeah, boy, I'm right. Flex Beanbag starting things off with a suplex, countered into a sunset flip, and he counters that into a run, ascending Bruno San Martino to the outside, who's now got a chair. Big Lariat. But misses the second one. Bruno taking a moment to capitalize. And now they're just throwing light tube fragments around. Back body drop. I think he landed on the light tube. Flex trying to flex on Bruno. Drop toe hold off the ropes. 
Flexing again. Back and forth. Arm drag. Couple of kicks and stomps. Lex Beanbag actually seems to be well in control right now of this match. Despite being against a veteran like Bruno. Not able to hold that headlock very well, possibly due to that cut on his arm. Lamrock Shooter looking to interfere. And does in the silliest way possible. Very naked choke locked in. Punch oh. right in the face. Caught. In a clinch. Followed by, I don't know what the hell that was. Big Lariat. Lariat, punch, 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 punch. A lot of punches. <laughs> As you were. Ooh, what a drop kick. Snapmare. Oh, but countered. And countered again into a cattle mutilation. Flex Beanbag missing a drop kick. Bruno seeking to capitalize. Got that spinning toe hold. And not really not able to keep a hold on it. Flex Beanbag escapes. And pipe to the face. Clamrock Shooter telling Flex Beanbag to taste the chrome. Gets a snapmare for her troubles. And now we're fighting on the outside. Both men being counted out. Flex Beanbag over the barrier. And gets hit with a top rope spear. Damn. This could be bad news. Big elbow. Yeah, I think this is going to be another count out. Whoop. Oh, God. Slammed right on his small of his back on those stairs. Hey, Red Fury, you want to do something besides just be like, don't do that? There you go, Flex. Gets back in at nine. Not sure why Glamrock Shooter is doing that. It's not exactly conducive to a title victory, if it should happen. Ooh, what a flip. And not... Flex Beanbag not looking... Not looking in good shape at the moment. Seems to be out on his feet, but still struggling back into the ring. And a clinch. And a rope break. Big headlock takeover. Getting some extra damage in as the referee was distracted. Glamrock Shooter crashing into Bruno, who gets up one, two, three. And he has won the championship through some dubious distinction. And is now continuing to beat up on Flex Beanbag a bit. Flex Beanbag status has dropped just a bit. Congratulations to Bruno San Martino for becoming the new TV champion of Maple Leaf Grappling. Glamrock Shooter is happy that her client won that match. I think Junkyard Dog and I would make a good team, so why don't we make it a regular thing? Sure. Got to share our vision anytime, I mean, this could be the start of something big. Or it could not, but we'll see. In fact, heck with it. Give you guys a tag match right now. Rules. There's tag. There we go.
it's mine. Burn bright, let the ember shine. You know I'm gonna get it every time. Check the young It's down. And see my name in lights. Spark from the heart and it shines so bright. Kind of sucks that Junkyard Dog goes from having a championship to having to do a tag match at the undercard. But we'll we'll get back to him, I promise. In the meantime, uh, uh, Dr. D. David Schultz and Boonsaw. So rules tag team 15 minutes, no title defense. Non title, slow count. Hopefully that works. There we go. It is. Dr. D. David Schultz and Bonesaw Machismo very close together as they're heading to the ring. This tag team match against the newly formed team. Magnum TA and Junkyard Dog, which I don't have a name for yet. We haven't a pr we've been having a pretty good show so far, though. The hell? Oh, Bruce Bogan. Wait, what's he doing here? Is he on? Was he on commentary? I don't even know, man. You just decide to interfere during the entrances? What, what's even going on? Alright, yeah, I guess that's one way I can restore order. Referee, Booker, Ace, Diamond. He's starting things off with a snapmare. Bruce Bogan doing some power lifting. And up. Oh, no. I got a dog being slammed into the ring after trying to distract Dr. D a bit. Headlock broken up by Junkyard Dog. Now he's ground and pounding. And even though Junkyard Dog's not the legal man. Ooh, what an amazing flip! Out of that backdrop attempt. Referee still trying to restore order. Big German suplex by Magnum TA. And order is restored. Junkyard Dog falls off the apron now. Ooh! That was looking pretty good as a pin, but... Rope break, and David Schultz manages to roll his way out. And he makes the tag to Bonesaw. Comes in, immediately starts unloading with kicks and elbows. He's already going up to the top. Amazing. Jumping neckbreaker right there. And yeah, okay. So yeah. Bogan and Armed Anderson were on commentary, and I don't know how that got disturbed. Someone's chair gets stolen or broken. And at some point when I wasn't paying attention, Junkyard Dog was tagged in. Jump. Ooh. And out once again. Out over the barrier is Junkyard Dog. Bone Saw Machismo getting slammed on the outside. Three, five, oh. Well, this isn't a good idea for anyone. Especially since it's hard to see anything going on. Angry TA trying to break it up. Ooh. Oh, nope, he's going nowhere. This is going to be another count out. Maybe. Yep, definitely. Oh, somebody's hurt. That's great. Oh, great. Bruce, Bo Bruce Bogan injured himself again. Bloody Dobby. Bone Sama Chismo is out. Junkyard Dog is out. Now it's a one on one. Good job, idiots. Crowd fight! Try to get a better camera angle on this. Nope. 
diagonal. There we go. Jesus. This is probably just going to end in a count out. Jesus. I mean, go home early is definitely a thing that could happen at this point. Dr. D. David Schultz again forgetting that maybe he's supposed to, like... Never mind. Magnum TA and Junkyard Dog win this incredibly stupid match in about 3 minutes and 45 seconds. Dr. D. David Schultz's strength has gone up. Magnum TA's profile has risen. Here is also an unrelated photo of Machismo's butt. Oh, Jesus! What the fuck? No! Great. Junkyard Dog is dead. Ah, extremely serious injury. Despite the best efforts, medical was not able to resuscitate the 51-year-old who died as well as his injuries. God damn. Bone saw machismo profile has suffered from being on the losing team in his match. Your profile suffered? I think my team with Rick Rude has run its course, so shouldn't we go our separate ways? Y you know what? Why not? Thanks for understanding this, Diamond. I can't wait to strike out on my own. Gotta figure out more, uh... Figure out more stuff for them to do, I guess. Great. Well, <laughs> in... In true form of terrible taste, the show must go on. Oh, and the music's now super slow because death happened. Rick Rude's got attitude issue, he probably because he hasn't been on a show in a while. There we go. British Bulldog and Rick Rude. Let's not make that a hardcore match, we'll just make this regular. I still can't believe that happened. Well, here, <laughs> here, here we go. God, imagine that you win the title, which wasn't taped because your dumbass boss screwed it up. The ring already, Rick. You lose the title under dubious circumstances, and then in a tag match with your new tag team, you then lose it again. Also, that dynamite is lit. Okay. What is this show? <laughs> anyway, yeah, your, your new tag team, and you die. You die. You die. Definitely gonna have to have a tribute show, or try to anyway. Probably not going to do the tribute right in the same show. That's even more poor taste. And British Bulldog is... Oh, stole a baseball bat. Rick Rude drinking... Drinking beer. Oh, I thought he was trying to get health back. Nope, he's just getting drunk. Because I already needed one drunk person. Oh, good. We're already at two and a half stars. Just from an explosion. Backslide! I laughed that ended it. Big arm drag. And rubber. Ooh, world's strongest slam. Oh, tried to go for a pin, but Rick Root immediately kicking out of it. Let's change the camera again. Team all. Side tracking. British Bulldog firing away with those fists. Trying to roll him up here. Nope. 
Another arm drag. And another one. Arm bar turned into a step over one. Now a cross arm breaker. This is bad news for Rick Rude. Trying to British Bulldog trying to remove that leverage for that Rude Awakening Neckbreaker. Oh, and British Bulldog might be looking to put this away right here. Camel Clutch, really? Okay. Really cranking back there. And taps out. That was fast. Not even a two-minute match. I don't know why. I don't know why everyone in this t TV tapings felt they needed to speed things up. Profile up. Recruit profile down. Definitely gonna have to do something to fix fix his uh, wagon. All right. I could have swore I changed his name to be Bruce Lee, but whatever. Point is, it's Bruce Lee. Now we have to put somebody against him. No, not Armed Anderson. Yeah, I guess, I guess we can put... Oh, no, you know what? Screw that. We don't need to put Rick Flair. Oh, Bebo Crossing definitely needs to be making more money. Rules. Not confrontation training. Hardcore furniture smash. Skips with Gauntlet Countdown. Uh, yeah, shoot fight. There we go. Non-title shoot fight. Only by submission or stoppage. And here we go. I probably should have done an announcement for an interpromotional contest, technically. Because Hollywood is a promotion. And here's Bebo Crosshanks with Brother Love. I think we've got... Is that Michael Cole? Who do we even have here on commentary? Drinking water loudly into microphone. And here's Bruce Lee with Eddie Schwartz. No idea who that is. Is that supposed to be Andrew Dice Clay? I'll have to look that up later. Why would it be Andrew Dice Clay? Is that just Arnold Schwarzenegger? Yeah, it's Arnold Schwarzenegger. Silly me. And already, the match has barely started. And Chief Breaker, Big Bow Man, has now immediately done a run-in. What is happening? He's not even from this promotion. And they're saying, Bebo Crosshanks already has broken glass in his face. Doesn't seem to have slowed him down, though, as he's taking it to Bruce Lee. Anyone, even a Cajun... Uh, shit, I never actually said what his job was. Anyone, even, even a Cajun wrestler can do a Russian leg sweep. Oh, misses the splash. Oof, that didn't look good. Guess Chief Breaker has some problems with Bruce Lee. I don't know. I've been going through trying to do renames on everyone, and, well, obviously not done yet. Schwarzenegger knocked off the ropes. Big spear. Countered. This match is going places. Oh, what a big headbutt by Bebo Crosshanks. Tanking that spin kick from Bruce Lee. And headlock. Slow it down. Also taking issue to the being like water bit, which is why he smashed that bottle in his face. Slingshot out of the ring. Why are there countouts in this shoot fight? I really need to remember to fix these things sometimes. Well, I guess because if I didn't put in countouts, they wouldn't get back in the ring. Going up, springboard, drop kick. Somehow, 
Crosshank staying on. Now he's back in the ring. So is, uh, so is Big Ball Man. Big jump. Now, heads, Crucifix heads to his takedown, sending Evo Crossing out of the ring again. Arnold tried to put him in the camel clutch. Evo Crossing's having none of that. Big taint attack. This is the splash. Big, uh... Slam there. Got him up again. That's why I should then. I should put Bret Hart in this. Oh, well. He'll put him in that commentary or something. Big stomp. Big kick to leg. Bruce Lee really taking it to Bebo Crosshanks now, and he's got that knee bar locked in. And Bruce Lee taps out Bebo Crosshanks in a somewhat compelling match. Man, all these matches have gone quick. Bruce Lee has legitimately fallen out with Bebo Crosshanks after working that match. Oh, okay. Bebo Crosshanks has damaged the reputation of Maple Leaf Grappling by failing to win. Other Love is disappointed. Eddie Schwartz is happy. Generating buzz. Think of my new song. Can I use it as my theme? Yeah, go ahead. I don't think they're going to react all that much, regardless. All right, and now we have the now we have Drunken Bob Backlit versus Ivy Windsor, and I don't even know who the ref is right now. Is that is that Lita? Is that the ref? God, this is going to be. Such a mess. Actually, arguments. Um, I'm trying to see. Respected. All right, I guess I'm just gonna do the drug addict one because that that never goes bad. Not to, well, we're not defending titles. Damn, damn no, not not in this case. Here's the world champion, Bob Backlit. And I hope I remember to put that script correctly. I guess if it's backwards, it'll still be funny. I mean, it'll be funny. More funny, I don't know. At least he got to the ring. And here comes Ivy Windsor. And I forgot to put somebody on commentary. Bret Hart gonna be pissed again. Promise I'll put you in the next show. God damn, I gotta figure out what I'm doing about people being dead. Like the medicine cabinet, Bob Backlund is on the prowl looking for his next fix. What, you think he's drinking Listerine? Cats out of the bag and now everyone knows that you're a filthy drug addict and your drug is the alcohol. All of that moosehead ale or whatever. I guess it's lager. Brought shame on this sport and everybody who has tried to keep it clean. If you're so sure about that, why don't you give us a urine sample, Ivy Windsor? Uh, camera, hello. As we beat the piss out of you, the whole world will get to see who you really are. And go. And go. Okay, I should I should keep in mind Bob Backlit requested this match. 
I must remind you. And then he decided to get drunk. Also, goddamn, Lita just sliced open Ivy Windsor's back. What the hell? Headlock, takeover already. I should have... Oh. I did it for the heck of it. At the time, he wasn't the champion. Man, just think. Junkyard Dog could still be champ if, uh... And there, we're done. Just defeated the champion and proved that the world title belongs to me. I mean, maybe. We may have escaped this time, Bob Backlund, but that treasure can't stay buried forever. I, don't know. I guess I could give it. I guess there's many reasons why, why to and why not to. Might as well. God, the show is going so well, too, up until this point. Well, and the part where Junkyard Dog died. Improved considerably. Bob Backless profile suffered considerably for being a drunk asshole. I believe grappling had bolstered their following Canada after setting a new attendance record of 6646. Man, I almost had four sixes. Alright. Still, four and a half stars. Not bad. Let's uh, send in the tape. Uh -huh. Wow, Strong Style's really falling off. American. All right, we didn't go up, we didn't go down. We're still in second. It's looking good. Surprisingly, how much money did I not make this time around? Uh, we're probably just gonna come out. Yep, just a little bit in the red. But could be worse. All right, here comes. All right. I'm just gonna keep building our crap, building our fan base here. Being exposed to Wrestling Revolution's product, fans in Kazakhstan have developed a preference for intruders and a distaste for heels. But that's that's an incompatible. Anyway, all American wrestling. Oh, you sons of bitches! Ah! Mary Wrestling and banished Maple Leaf Grappling in Thailand after drawing 7,500 security fans. Their reach now extends to 13% of the world. Damn it! Dragon Sun Pro Wrestling have dethroned Strong Style Wrestling in Japan after drawing 6,792 fans. Bret the Hitman Hart is even more upset that he wasn't able to appear in front of his home crowd in Canada. Harley races few, but Bruno San Martino appeals to have lost momentum. No longer over the fans. Fine. Ebo Crosshanks' contract has expired, and I flex. Oxy Brown's profile suffered from a lack of exposure in recent weeks. What well, didn't he? Might not have wrestled, actually. Bob Flair is upset she wasn't used on last week's show. Ivy Windsor is upset she was promised a title push, but doesn't currently hold one. I'm working on it. Gorilla Monsoon has developed a friendship with Mario Sanyo of Rising Sun Puresu, and I don't remember what his actual name is. Jack Swagger of Mars is upset that he wasn't paid $8,900 to be useless. His profile has also suffered. Conan has defeated Sting to become the new heavyweight champion of Super Lucha Libre. After being exposed to Super Lucha Libre's product, fans of Brazil developed a preference for botches and a distaste for drop toe holds. I think that says a lot about Super Lucha Libre. Becky Lynch's contract with Federation Online has expired, which may be an ideal time to post 31-year-old. Claw has defeated, so Sable has defeated Holly Holm to become the new lightweight champion of Weekend Warriors. The industry will come together this week to stage a special tribute in memory of Junkyard Dog. Contract expired, Bebo Cross Shanks, we need to talk about your future. And I'm willing to make it happen with more money. 21 weeks at 2,000 a week. There's a time where I accepted a deal like that, but those days are behind me now. Oh, son of a. Wish you would at least like give me a counter offer. 2,400 and a win bonus. Okay, I need I need to know more, dude. Twenty-eight hundred per week in health insurance. Can't work for a company that doesn't have access to the Congo. I should have changed your territory or home territory. Damn. What if I give you a downside guarantee? Aha! Gotcha. I plan to use them on every show anyway, so it's not like 
it's really hurt me that much. Contract expired, brother love, so we need to talk about your future. Better not big time me like all the other old dudes, because I have no problem ditching your ass. My friend, Thomas Sun, works for Super Lucha Libre, so I'd rather follow him there. Great, now I have to figure out who Thomas Sun is. Thomas Sun, tons of fun. Is it Akeem the African Dream? Is that what you're doing? Alright, let's try 1800. 46 weeks. Creative control. To be honest, I haven't enjoyed working here. It would take more than that to convince me to stay. Alright, fine. Get out. Let's see if we're on the same page anymore. Time for us to go our separate ways. Contract is expired. Bone saw. So we need to talk about your future. How much am I paying him? Uh, 63. Oh, 6,300 per week. Will he sign? They deserve to be in the title picture, so I'm gonna need that in writing. Okay, I'm happy to sign that deal. I look forward to the next 46 weeks. I mean, I guess I can put him in the title picture. The title picture's getting fucking crowded. All right, the Junkyard Dog Memorial. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, God. Let's just look at the card for this. Oh, good. I get to book everything. That's going to go great. Actually, wait. What happens if I do... I'm just taking a look here. Oh, I thought it would let me, like, choose people from other uh, things. But no, this is just going to be a really weird tribute show. And since it's a memorial, I don't think we're making any money on it. But that doesn't matter because we still have plenty. We have more than most com we have excuse me, we have more than companies that are technically doing better than us. Can't believe I lost Thailand. Lost Thailand. Lost the junkyard dog. My world champion's a drunk. This is a this was a mess, but I enjoyed it. So uh, yeah, that's gonna do it. It's <laughs> gonna do it for tonight. I don't think I could. I don't think I've got anything else to go with at the moment. Um, thank you all for coming out. Until next time, stay safe, stay hydrated, remain socially distant if you need to, get vaccinated if you can, and I will see you next time, which will probably be this weekend.